Continued coverage of uh, CES 2015. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. I just realized that I think the last interview I said CES 2013. So I'm, I'm a couple years behind. We're here with Skipper. Skipper, now we've talked with you guys um, when you were with Blue Microphone. Right. Um, and now you're, you're, you're moved on to a different venture. Tell us a little bit. Yeah, well, about. the new adventure... Um, Actually, after we sold Blue Microphones in 2013, um, took a break. I've been at it for 18 years. Um, and uh, through somebody over at Gibson, I was introduced to Henry. Okay. And um, flew out to Nashville to meet him. I had a three-hour meeting where, to, to be honest, I, I talked for three solid hours. I remember during the meeting saying to Henry, should I be quiet at this point? He said, nope. <laughs> I've done that before a few times myself. So. And, and I hit it off philosophically about products and culture. Okay. You know, we believe that um, we need to make things simple so that artists can get to what they want to do and not have to worry about hooking things up or pushing this button to get everything so set up that they're exhausted and they've lost their train of thought yeah. or the focus on the creative aspect. Okay. So we like to put everything under the hood and that comes from us on an engineering standpoint. But we also believe there has to be a cultural standpoint. Okay. Um, a brand, something that encompasses what you're doing. So um, one of the things that we took notice of uh, when we were at Gibson was um, the KRK speaker line. And okay. the yellow speakers are something that people sort of notice. And um, I kept thinking, what could we do to become the in as they are the out? And thus, the B line was formed. Awesome. That's and what this is. This is one of the B products. There are several B products. This is the Worker B. Okay. And the Worker B is a 199 condenser microphone. There's a big brother called the King B, okay. which is over here as well. And that's a large one inch diaphragm. Okay. And we think of these two microphones as encompassing all the frequencies you could use in the recording process. All right. The Worker B is a little bit more detailed in the mids. And the King B is a little bit more of a scoop sound, so this fits right into the center. All right. And if you look at all the products, what we have with this, this is the Beekeeper shock mount. We actually have which a pop. Is, well, which is what I was going to say, which is a lot different than, than most shock mounts because it's an open-ended shock mount. Right, and what we want to do is be able to show, in the back of it, actually, there's a little worker bee okay. that lights up and the phantom's on. Really? There's a pop filter. Actually, can you grab one of those little bee figurines? Yeah, definitely. This little figurine, which is got going to have a serial number on the back. Right now, it just says worker bee. You can okay. hold them up. Um, comes out of his base. This is going to be in the box, in the packaging, and there'll be a hologram serial number, and with that, we'll be doing contests, either on a monthly or a quarterly basis. Okay. And there'll be products given away. It'll be kind of fun. So you hang on your little worker, worker bee, bee or your little figurine that comes with each one of your bee products. Yeah. It's really fun. That's that's cool. And, and I got one. I'll definitely have it on my desk over at Geekazine. There's also you know, over here, if you'll notice, that there is a shock mount, yeah. um, pop filter, and cable. Okay. And the cable is called the B line. You can grab that and throw that, that really into quick. view. Here's our pop filter. This is called the honeycomb. You'll notice if you go to www.neatmike.com, so N E A T M I C.com, mm -hmm. you can take a look at all the B products. There's going to be several lines coming out over the next years. Um, one of the lines that we're also showing here is widgets. Okay. It's not up on the site yet, but that'll be out here hopefully during the second quarter of 2015. Any any artists using this right now? Um, it hasn't even been shipped yet. We're not oh, okay. shipping till the next month. Any artists interested in using them? Of course. Yeah, okay. You can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. So, you know, on the other level is, is podcasting and always looking for a cool mic to have in front of you when, when you're uh, doing a live stream or something like that and that's definitely one of those and I, well with that again as we said we're always looking to kind of create a culture and try to create a vibe something that has an aesthetic appeal so that you feel that you're in front of something that's emotional and helps bring up that emotion when you're doing your artistic creations exactly that definitely brings some emotion up there. Yeah. So, uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank I'd you. love to talk to you a lot more about this. Unfortunately, they, they got the room to, uh, for other people. So, uh, Where was the website one more time? Uh, meet Mike, N -E -A -T -M -I -C com. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. Check it all out, geekazine.com, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. We got a lot more videos for CES 2015, so stick around.